today let's take up the topic death of a partner and first of all i'll put down the points as to uh, what will the deceased partner's executor get after his death so what are the things what are the uh, payments that are to be made to the deceased partner's executors right okay now here his executors will be entitled to one the amount of capital of the deceased partner on the date of death right share of profit up to the date of death interest on capital up to the date of death on the opening balance of the year of death salary or commission on sales up to the date of death if he is entitled as per the partnership deed right then share of the deceased partner in the general reserve or any other undistributed profit or uh let's put it like this right then share of profit on revaluation of assets and liabilities share in the maturity value of the jlp joint life policy if it does not appear in the balance sheet of the firm right okay now you see if it appears in the balance sheet of the firm right at surrender value at surrender value then he will get his share of the net amount that is what is the net amount net amount is maturity value minus surrender value right then share in the goodwill of the firm calculated according to the partnership deed so whatever is given there we'll do it according to that right this is what he will get that is these payments he will get the executor will have to be given all these things right okay now let's see the following deductions right will be made out of the deceased partners capital accounts now what are the things that will be deducted right so first of all any drawings made up to the date of death right then 
इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग्स इफ देर इज अ लॉस ऑन रिवायलेशन ऑफ एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज दैट विल बी डिडक्टेड हिस शेयर ऑफ लॉस ऑन रिवैल्युएशन ऑफ एसेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज राइट इफ देर इज अ प्रॉफिट इट विल बी एडेड इफ इट्स अ लॉस इट विल बी डिडक्टेड राइट हिस शेयर of any deferred expenditure appearing in the balance sheet right any advance or loan taken by him from the firm okay his share of any deferred expenditure appearing in the balance sheet if there is any share pertaining to him basically that will be deducted and any advance or loan that has been taken by him that will also be deducted right now first of all when we do this we have to make the capital account of the deceased partner so all these adjustments that will come in the capital account of the deceased partner right and after that the balance of the capital account right the balance of the capital account is transferred to the executor's account right and the payment to the executor uh will be made according to the terms of the agreement and suppose there is no agreement if there is no agreement as the rate of interest basically it is always 6% right okay hmm. now see supposing i'll just show a a capital account and uh, i'll take some imaginary figures here uh supposing i have this is the balance brought down of the capital right uh, opening balance of the capital account of that partner then you will have if there is any interest on capital you will put it here and then um by profit and loss adjustment account okay this will be basically your profit up to the date of death so we'll be calculating the profit up to the date of death and it will come here and um if there is any joint life policy that will be here any salary or commission which is given that will come here and if there is a goodwill right now goodwill uh the gaining ratio of the other partners you have to find out right and this goodwill will be distributed in the gaining ratio uh of the remaining partners right suppose so i say a b and c are three partners and here i say this is c's capital account c is the partner who has died so here i'll have by a's capital account and by b's capital account this is basically your goodwill in the gaining ratio the goodwill is distributed in the gaining ratio fine right now on the debit side if there are any drawings that will come here if there is any interest on drawings it will come here right and in this case i have put a profit up uh, sorry if there is supposing there is a profit or loss on the revaluation of the assets then that will be put right if it is a loss on revaluation here it will come and if it is a profit on revaluation here it will come 
right so normally these are the entries that we will have in the um, capital account of the partner and whatever is the balance that is transferred to C's executor's account like this this will be the balancing figure right so this is how you make the capital account of a deceased partner so once the capital account of the deceased partner is made and you find out the closing capital that closing capital is transferred to the dead partners executors account right so these points should be very clear as to what are the things what are the items which have to be credited to the deceased partner's capital account and what are the items which are which have to be debited to the deceased partner's capital account so whatever i am paying the deceased partner that is credited and whatever i am deducting that is debited right okay so this is the list of items which you should always have in your mind right the deductions are given here and what he is going to get that is given here right and i have put up a performa the normally these items only come in the capital accounts uh, at in some of the cases you can have something like this uh, deferred expenditure or advance or loan but most of the questions will have the items which i have put here right so with this i come to the end of this session wherein we have discussed what uh, wherein we have discussed how to prepare the capital account of the deceased partner right so in our next session we will take up a question in which we will prepare the capital account of the deceased partner bye